I got involved with Palmer Scholars quite some time ago, maybe even 20 years ago. In all the involvement I've done, I've been a board member in the past and led up committee work, but my absolute favorite thing to do with the foundation is to uh, be a mentor. My name is Jamiric Fontenot, senior at Lincoln High School, recipient of the Sunrise Rotary Challenge Scholarship, and I'm a Palma Scholar. Going off to WSU, going in for communications, business, and sports medicine. I'm involved in my community right now. The first thing is through um, my church. I'm the leader for the youth, and I'm an assistant coach for the Tacoma Cougars, and I'm helping mold kids into young men who are able to do more than just compete on the court, but also compete in the classroom. Before I was introduced to the Palmers and Sunrise Rotary, I saw my future as something that was gonna, I was gonna accomplish my goals, but I was gonna do it by myself. I don't, I felt like I didn't need anyone to really be there on my side. The support system I have now is allowing me to grow, but before I had this support system, it was kind of hard because I'm growing up, I'm a teenager, and most people have their dads in their lives, and I don't have that. So around school, people are like, yeah, I'm going to do this and that with my dad. We talk, we have fun, and I'm that outcast who's like, well, I seen my dad a couple months ago. I'm not sure if people can see it on my face, but I was embarrassed. I remember many times I would catch the bus, I would have to catch two buses. One was a bus that everybody from school caught. All the people I knew would get on this bus. And my bus stop was right in front of the motel that we had to go to. I would pull the string early and get off early so people don't see where I'm going. And it's like, hmm, what if they see me get off the bus and go into this little lobby? What would they think of me? It feels like you have nothing left because you go home to a place that you don't want to call home, even though you have to face reality that this is your home for the moment. It might not be long term, but you're here and this is the path that you have you didn't choose to take, but that you're gonna have to go down. A lot of hope was lost. A lot of um, dreams were fading away little by little. I would go to school and not really wanna be social. The people around me really didn't matter at the time because no one could feel my pain. No one could feel what I'm going through. Nobody could tell me things are gonna be all right. The tears that I was shedding wasn't theirs to shed. I have a reason to be angry, but I'm not gonna let my anger put me in a position where I can't grow. My name is Katrina Heinemann, and I was a teacher at Lincoln High School for three years. And during my time there, I referred between 12 and 15 students to the Palmer Scholarship Program. I met Jay during his junior year, he came down and he said, I need to be in this class, I need to be in this program, I want to go to college. He was disciplined, dedicated, driven. Academically, he was on point. Jay really, because he'd been hurt, had really built a wall around his heart and to be able to cope with his pain, he developed a mindset that it's me, myself, and I. She showed me that just because one person in life hurts me, not all people are gonna hurt me. I can trust people. People can help me get out of what I'm going through, that I can't do it all alone, that everybody needs somebody. If I wouldn't have met Ms. Katrina Hyman, I would have never got introduced to the Palmer Scholars family. I would have never been able to get accepted into the Sunrise Rotary family, and I would have never made these connections that I have now with not only students, but teachers and different figures out in the community. What excites me the most about being a Palmer Scholar is all of the people. I just love being around people now. Palmer Scholars has impacted my life um, by giving me a support system, not just financially, but emotionally, mentally. So I was able to um, make the transition from college, from high school to college. Um, pretty easily um, with the support I found. When I met Brian and he came on as my mentor, it was impactful. 
mentoring is, um, it's a personal relationship that kind of brings in the best values of the foundation, but you see it lived firsthand in your relationship with the student as they uh, matriculate to, through college. The relationship with Megan was interesting because she was one of our mentor scholars that probably went the farthest away from Tacoma. I know that he was always in my corner. I know that he was always going to be there for me. And, you know, even the way he signed his emails at the end, you know, let me know that, okay, I can do this. There's positive side to this. Things may seem overwhelming, but it's small and I can do it. I know I can because he believes in me. Whenever she came back to Tacoma, we'd always go to coffee shops, catch up, find out how school was going, how her family was doing. So a family to me are a group of people that care and that are committed to each other. They're a unit that's going to be there through thick and thin, better and worse. And Palmer's is like that. One thing that excites me about having a mentor is, well, the fact that I have a male mentor is a really huge part because for me, it's like having a father figure, someone who can really motivate me and show me the things that I need to see and tell me what I need to hear that I haven't been told before. That's helping me see that there is someone out here who really cares, who really, really cares. It used to be affordable that anybody could go to college, pretty much. And now there's so many obstacles that are financial obstacles for students to go that further step and to be able to compete in the world. The rewarding thing about Palmer is we're part of that effort that can help level the field or bring opportunities to those that might not have these opportunities otherwise. Palmer Scholars is about creating hope an opportunity through education. I am living proof of that. And for me, it's time to now um, make that circle complete by creating hope and opportunity through education in someone else's life. Our scholars graduate from college. It works. I would like to say thank you to all those who have supported the Palmer Scholar Program over the years. Because of you, Palmer Scholars can continue its work of creating hope and opportunity through education. Thank you. Go Cougs, yeah. Just have to throw that in there. <laughs>